Hello everyone, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. I hope you are doing well. So the day that this video comes out, March 15th, is also my 28th birthday. And if you are new to my channel or at least new within the last year, you might not know that literally since I turned 22, I have been making one of these kind of like birthday time capture videos talking about the year that was, what I want to achieve before my next birthday. So that's what we're gonna do today. I guess the biggest thing about turning 28 is that it's my last birthday without a baby. It's my last birthday where I'm not a mother. So next year when I'm turning 29, it's probably gonna be like a whole new thing because I would have almost had like a one year old at that point, which is kind of crazy. Other than the pretty massive change of the fact that I'm about to be a mum, I'm about to have a baby. Um, my year, I feel like the things that I've loved and stuff over the last year have basically stayed the same. I'm still obsessed with the wooden spoon and birthday cake ice cream. I'm still obsessed and always craving watermelon. I'm currently not binge watching any TV series. I'm about to start watching The Stranger, but I want to watch it with Nick and we've just been busy doing like other DIY stuff. Um, so we haven't been like sitting down to watch TV. But I have also just finished watching Cheer, the cheerleading series on Netflix and also Love is Blind. So my love for reality TV is definitely still present as I turn 28. I had a few goals which I've written down um, of things that I wanted to achieve before I turned 28 and I'm pretty happy to say that I've done everything that I wanted to achieve. So I wanted to get my full license which I did back in October um, and then I just wanted to do some more DIY. I didn't know exactly what we are going to do to our house but I just knew that I wanted to do something. I feel like we've fitted the most amount of DIY that we've done into the smallest amount of time as well because we kind of had a break towards the start of last year as we were uh, celebrating our wedding and getting ready for our honeymoon so we kind of started the DIY in like May time and since then we have replaced the flooring in our entrance kitchen uh, hallway and like laundry way and then we've also uh, done up the laundry, we've redone the kitchen, we're like almost up to the painting stage and our lounge which is very exciting. When we were replacing our flooring we also took our banister down with the intention of replacing that but we have had a temporary banister for almost a year so I guess one of my goals for the next year is to finally get a banister. We're definitely not going to do as much DIY in the next year but before our baby is due in a couple months we do need to finish the lounge and then also convert my office into a nursery but hopefully those things and then also getting the banister done will be like at least all of the top half of our house will be done it will just be like the downstairs room that we need to worry about but I think that's a pretty good goal for a year. One of the things that I mentioned in the video was that before I turned 28 we wanted to get another little cat, another little friend for our current cat Subi um, and we plan on getting another cat in February just because we had like a bunch of trips and stuff planned so we just figured it would be easier to get the cat once all those trips are out of the way. Um, and then of course we found out we we're pregnant, so we're not planning on getting another cat anytime soon, but hopefully Subi and the baby can be friends. I normally end these videos by talking about what I want to do in the next year and what I'm most excited about. And I feel like in this instance, it's pretty obvious. I think this coming Christmas, so December 2020, is gonna be pretty cool because at that point our baby will be around like six months old. And I think for the first time we'll have both sets of grandparents over at our house for Christmas. And I just think at that point, I mean, six months old, the kid probably isn't going to know like much of what's going on, but I feel like at that age, they'll still be able to like interact and like engage with us. And I just think that will be like even cooler. And I'll kind of bring back some of the magic of Christmas now that we have this little human to share it with. I think the thing that I want to do, which seems relatively simple and also like quite cheesy, but I still want to feel like myself in a year's time because I know this is going to be such a massive change and a lot of my focus and priority is obviously going to be on this newborn baby but I want to get to 29 and still feel like you know there's times in the day for me to do stuff for me and I still feel like me and not just a mum if that makes any sense. I know it's not all going to be like sunshine and rainbows but I just think it's going to be like such a new experience and I'm just really looking forward to like the new challenges and like I don't know, everything that's going to come with being a mum. So yeah, that is life, so I'm about to turn 28. If you also have your birthday in March, I hope you have a happy birthday or have had a happy birthday if your birthday's already been. Um, and if you were also born on March 15th, because I know there are also a few people out there, happy birthday as well, thanks for being my birthday buddy. Regardless, obviously, if your birthday is in March or not, I do hope you are having a wonderful week and a wonderful month, and I will see you all later on with another video. Bye!